equations under the transmission line okay so before knowing the voltage and current equations first you need to be knowing what do you mean by transmission lines and how it is responsible for passing through the microwave frequencies and microwave signals such that the voltages and current should be uh, manipulated okay so let us first see what do you mean by transmission line so in any electrical communication system it is required to transmit electromagnetic energy from one place to another place transmission can be through bounded or unbounded medium so the transmission line is that medium where the energy is getting uh, shifted from one point to another point okay it may be in a bounded as well as unbounded medium it means that bounded means it would be having one certain boundary where we should uh, where uh, in that particular space only the uh, traveling takes place whereas unbounded means there is uh, it is traveling in the free space okay so as is, as i have told you unbounded means free space ionosphere okay so that is the free space available in the nature then bounded bounded means the transmission lines under that we are having two wire transmission line and coaxial transmission line okay so we are going to discuss all the all all about the two wired as well as coaxial then we have wave guides under wave guides we are having rectangular wave guide and uh, dielectric wave guide okay so those things and all we are going to discuss so this is all about the uh, introduction part now the propagation constant so for this propagation constant we have an equation that you need to be remembering as gamma okay so this is that pro this is that symbol used for propagation concept uh, constant as you can see here okay so this is that symbol and it is equal to square root of zy okay where z is the impedance and y is the admittance okay so it is given by z is equal to r plus j omega l and y is equal to g plus j omega c okay where r is the resistance l is the inductance g is the susceptance okay it is called as susceptance and c is the capacitance okay and this z not here that z not is called as the characteristic impedance of this equation which is uh, how it is related to the propagation constant everything we are going to see in this video in the future so that z uh, just for this part uh, starting i'm just going to tell you about the equation how what is the basic equation of the characteristic impedance how it is defined as it is defined as square root of z by y okay square root of z by y again where z is given as r plus j omega l and y is given as g plus j omega c which i have already told you okay so these things you please uh, brush it up now now see the circuit diagram here this defines the transmission line from generator to receiver part okay where we are having some sort of a voltage given here that input voltage okay z comma t z comma t insists that uh, the elementary section of the transmission line where the microwaves are generating okay so that z and t is, uh, uh, indicates the time slot so like that we are having one circuit here where we are having the resistances and inductances with some change in the uh, uh, with some uh, rapid change that is called uh, named as delta z which is given by all the uh, given uh, multiplied with all the components here that is you see here here we have r delta z l delta z g delta z c delta z okay so this is the uh, current traveling that is uh, i of z comma t and uh, with these currents the voltages are also getting traveled and uh, these are the different branch currents here and this is the load impedance and uh, in the output side the current generated is given by z plus delta z of t okay and these are the elementary sections which is available here so please note this circuit diagram now you see here a transmission line is an example of circuit of distributed parameters that is the parameters which are distributed in this case is r l g and c as i have already told you what do you mean by r l g c r is the resistance inductance susceptance and capacitance these are distributed throughout the length of the line as i've told you in this circuit if you consider this as a line all the throughout the length all the components are uh, 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 present here r l g as well as c okay so these are expressed per unit length these are expressed in the form of per unit length uh, now assume that the wave propagation is in positive z direction okay so as i have told you the z delta z is the slight change 
and uh, in this i have considered the wave propagation in the positive z direction now voltage drop in the line of length dz that is the drastic change uh, where the voltage drop is taking place that is given by v plus dv okay so this is the voltage v plus dv which is mentioned here which is traveling through this medium here in this medium that v plus dv is uh, attaining some voltage drop voltage drop means some part of the voltage is getting neglected so i have written it as minus v here so v plus dv minus v is equal to dou v okay or partially we could be writing it as dv equal to dou v it's one in the same because v and v gets cancelled here so dou v that would be equal to minus of ri plus l into dou i by dou t into dou z okay where the dou v is the uh, we should be writing this with respect to the uh, current okay so dou v would be equal to minus ri plus l into dou i plus dou t okay where it is at this point okay at this point the voltage is r l is mentioned here right so that's why it is given by r i that is the current passing through here plus l into dou i by dou t that is the with respect to the inductance the differentiation of current as you know the standard equation okay into dou z now the change of current is over the length dz the change of current or if we are attaining a voltage drop it is a uh, a mandatory that we should be attaining the current drop as well so that's why you are having this equation for current drop that is i plus dou i minus i okay so that is equal to dou i equal to minus gv plus c dou v by dou t into dz okay so now if we compare these two equations we could be writing uh, from this equation if you bring dou z to another side we are getting the equation as dou v by dou z is equal to minus ri plus l dou i by dou t that uh, name it as equation 1 and dou i by dou z is equal to minus gv plus c dou v by dou t name it as equation 2 now some one change you need to be uh, knowing that is differentiate equation 1 with respect to z and equation 2 with respect to t and combining the results of these two equations after doing the differentiation this is the combination after doing the differentiation because those are the mathematical steps which are not required if you uh, you should be knowing those steps uh, in the exam point of view, if you directly uh, write this uh, statement and directly write the differentiated answer, it is well and good. Okay. So again, I'm, I won't be doing the differentiation of it because it uh, takes uh, around uh, one page. So that is not required. So directly I have written the differentiated answer after differentiating equation 1 with respect to z and equation 2 with respect to t and combining the results. That is after the differentiation, we should be adding them and this is the resultant equation which we are getting. That is dou square v that is the second derivation second order derivative dou square v by dou z square is equal to r g v plus r c plus l g into dou v by dou t plus l c dou square v by dou t square okay so this equation you name it as equation 3 also now what i am doing is i am just reversing the com components that is differentiating now equation 1 with respect to t and equation 2 with respect to z okay i have just interchanged the variables in this second part okay because uh, from that we are we would be getting the differentiation in terms of current okay this we got in terms of voltage right so now after if we interchange it we are getting it as dou square i by dou z square is equal to r g i that is again uh, wherever the uh, what one change we could be uh, uh, observing here is wherever the voltage components is there that is re getting replaced by current okay so that would be equal to r g i plus r c plus l g dou i by dou t plus lc dou square i by dou t square so name it as equation 4 okay if you do this much now what you could be doing is you see here the voltage and currents on the line are functions of both space and time okay so whatever the voltages and currents which is present on the line with respect to the parameters as i've told you r c uh, l and g okay so those voltages and currents on the line are the functions of both space and time okay so that's why instantaneous line voltage and current can be expressed in the terms of v of z comma t is equal to real part of v z e to the power j omega t and i of z comma t is equal to real part of i z e to the power j omega t okay why this j omega t comes because this is the frequency microwave frequency which is passing uh, which is uh, happening between the wave propagation okay here 
this v of z and i of z these two components are the complex quantities and can be expressed as for this again v of z and i of z we have one separate expressions that is given by v of z is equal to v plus e to the power minus gamma z plus v minus e to the power gamma z so these two equations are called as the voltage and current equations of the transmission lines okay so these equations which i have written in this box right note it down guys very 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 important for this further upcoming topics of the module these equations you have to be remembering it okay though this is v of z this is the transmission line voltage equation and i of z is the transmission line current equation and this gamma is as, as i've told you it is the propagation constant okay and propagation constant is defined by alpha plus j beta okay as i've already told you a propagation constant is equal to alpha plus j beta again for that uh, definition with respect to the uh, circuit parameters it is given by square root of zy okay and here in terms of the voltages and current equations we are getting the propagation constant as alpha plus j beta where alpha and beta are some constant values and here v plus and i plus in these equations v plus and i plus are complex amplitude in positive z direction okay because we have considered for the positive z direction and uh, v minus and i minus are the complex amplitude in the negative z direction okay so the amplitudes present in uh, positive as well as negative directions which is uh, happening after the wave propagations are represented as v plus i plus and v minus i minus so okay, if you want to further simplify the equations that is uh, with respect to the first order and second order derivatives if necessary we could be further doing it as uh, v, uh, v and i equations are formed right so if you want to find dou v by dou z and do i by do z what you could be doing simply is substitute j omega in this equation substitute j omega for do by do t in equation 1 2 3 4 which i have written previously and divide all those equations by e to the power j omega t okay if you do that we are getting the transmission line uh, uh, individual parameters that is do v by do z as minus z i do i by do z as minus y v do square v by do z square is equal to gamma square v okay this is the propagation constant and do square i by do z square is equal to gamma square i where z is i have already told you z is equal to r plus j omega l and y is equal to g plus j omega c okay if you substitute these two parameters in this equation you see what the resultant we are getting here i have already written it and also one more thing for a lossless line that is if if it doesn't consists of any uh, loss parameters if there is no loss in the frequencies then for the lossless line you need to be remembering that is the resistance and the susceptance would be equal to zero okay there would be no resistance for a lossless line so the transmission line equation if you substitute for z and uh, y what we are getting is and also for gamma dou v by dou z is minus z i z is r plus j omega l into i so for a lossless line i have told you r equal to 0 so that i have written it as 0 so we are left with minus j omega li okay this is for the lossless line similarly do i by do z is given by minus yv that is minus g plus j omega c into v again g is equal to 0 so substitute that and we are finally getting it as minus j omega cv and for the second order derivative do square v by do z square that is equal to gamma square v where gamma i have already told you that is equal to Uh, in terms of uh, parameters it is zy so square root of zy the whole square so square and square root gets cancelled so our answer is zyv similarly do square i by do z square is equal to gamma square i square root of zy the whole square into i root and square gets cancelled so our remaining answer is zyi okay so therefore the transmission line equations in phasor form in frequency domain is given by these four equations that is this only i have told you that i have written it again do v by d uh, v by d z is equal to minus z i d i by d z is equal to minus y v do uh, d square v by d z square is equal to gamma square v d square i by d z square is equal to gamma square i d do you could be calling anything okay the derivative is either partial or normal so there is no need to worry for that and for a lossless line the transmission line equations become do i by do z is equal to j omega c v do square v by do z square is equal to minus omega square lcv okay why we are getting this because here we are getting 
डो स्क्वेर वी बाय डोज इट स्क्वेर एज जेड इन टू वाई इन टू वी ओके सो इफ यू फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी आर गेटिंग माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वेर एल सी वी ओके एंड डो स्क्वेर आई बाय डोज इट स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू माइनस ओमेगा स्क्वेर एल सी आई सो दीज आर द थिंग्स विच आर नेसेसरी इन ऑर्डर टू नो द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इक्वेशन ओके